Hey guys, this is Paul Tarsi Foam Fighters. Um, this is going to be part four of my uh, EDF FF117 video. Uh, basically, as you probably saw in the last part three video, the plane still wasn't flying right. It still had the uh, strong tendency of the nose to be pushed down, um, even with um, changing the back end, get rid of all the obstructions and stuff like that, and also putting a lot of um, up elevator reflex in the control surfaces. Um, you know the original prop plane you know it didn't really seem to have that effect I think a lot a uh, big part of that is because you know the props hanging halfway out the bottom and it's pushing on these uh, flat surfaces on the bottom of the plane and it helps keep it nice and level and fight that down tendency of this you know structure of the nose the whole front you know is like a big surface with all these surfaces I think you know in theory is pushing that nose down so um, what I decided to do is go back and look at some real pictures of the real F-117 to see if I can uh, find any other characteristics or design um, features of the plane that I can hopefully possibly add into this um, RC model. Um, so first off, you know, I did a view of the side view of the plane. As you see here in this picture, you know, you can see the bottom side of the plane actually kind of slants down and then kind of goes back up. So I think in theory, you know, that downward slant on the nose on the bottom has actually helped push back up on the nose a little bit. Um, and here's another picture, um, as you can see on the bottom of the plane. See this, uh, all the surfaces got like a kind of a triangular shape, but all the edges are, you know, kind of angled. And, you know, I want to try and recreate that on the model. So what I'm going to do is design um, something that looks kind of similar to that, and we're going to test it out. And see if that helps it fly better hopefully that'll help get rid of those nose down characteristics um, we'll build that bottom piece um, I'm just gonna add it to the plane and then uh, we'll go test fly it so let's uh, get on to the video and see how it goes all right guys here's a quick look at the modified f117 version 2 um, with the EDF I added the bottom um, after I drew the part in CAD you know I tried to mimic the real plane as best I could um, and still you know make it foldable and easy to install on the plane um, it's roughly about two foam board widths thick, um, so 3 16 times 2, that's how deep um, the layer is off the bottom of the original flat piece. And so we got the angles on the front and all the way down the wings, hopefully that'll give a little bit of up push to hopefully counteract some of that downward force from the front end of the plane. Um, we'll have to get it in the air and test it out and see how it goes. Hey guys, we're out at Herman Airport now. I'm going to try and do the first flight with this modified bottom of the F-117. Um, hopefully these um, surfaces that are on the bottom that are angled a little bit will hopefully help get rid of some of that um, downward push of the nose. Um, winds are probably about, what, three to four miles an hour, Frank? Yeah. So um, it, it is a little heavier, so hopefully still got enough power um, to fly. So I guess we'll throw it in the air, see what happens. Oh, 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 dude. <laughs> that was a sketchy takeoff, man. Okay, actually, yeah, I got some different push up, dude. Did it give you some good lift then? Yeah. From, did you that, change anything else on it? You, no. The angles of your ailerons or anything? No, I, I mean, didn't put them down now. Ailerons? That thing's like. It's trying to oh, climb. Let's get the CG back just a tad. That probably had a big effect on it, too. But it, it was only about a half inch. But that nose is definitely not, it's pointing up. <laughs> How far did you scoot the CG back? Only, that'll but, make but a big Not difference. even half an inch. Right around a little less than half an inch. That climb out was crazy though, man. Yeah. I almost thought you were going to eat the building. Yeah, okay, I'm going to land it so I can readjust. Adjust, yeah. So I take out a lot of that re up reflex. Blows me around. Okay. Yeah, I think that's closer. Which I think still. Get it up it. a little higher and just do a glide test. See what it's doing. Still pulling up quite a bit now. When you're off the throttle, though, is it nosing down? There's off the sticks. It's going oh up still. I mean, get it up there, get a level, and let go of the sticks and see which way it glides down. If it's like nosing down heavier, or if it's... 
Oh God, it's still going up. Whoa. You have some down elevator. Yeah, let me get it back over here. Okay, I think that's about right now. I'm gonna do a power off glide. Uh, still climbing a little bit. Well, you're heading into the no, kind of crosswind. Whoa! You almost pulled some kind of yeah. weird flat spin thing going yeah. on. Okay, so we took a bunch of the um, up elevator trim out, so I might be able to get it back down to close to level, I think. So making that bottom plate made a whole yeah. big difference then, I guess, huh? Yeah. Then moving the CG back, you said, what, quarter inch? Yeah. So I might even be able to move the CG back kind of close to where it was. I think it seems like it's cruising today, yeah. man. Yeah, and that bottom definitely makes it, you know, a little closer to scale, too, because the real plane has the curvatures on the bottom, and the wind's blowing me. Okay. That actually makes the slide better because it's curved. So I think that bottom plate definitely uh, made a big change. It doesn't have that up tendency. It's actually uh, pushing up too much, so I need to bring back the uh, up reflex. How much you got left in there? That's where it's at, and I think that's still a little too much. So yeah. that's getting close back to level. So I think those changes, you know, with this bottom, I don't know if you can see those angles yeah, in there, Frank. you can see it now. Yeah, I showed it a little bit in the uh, previous part of the video, but that definitely made a big change, you know, because this that surface goes all along the wing, too. So it's pushing up from the whole bottom, I think. And it's not very prominent, but I guess it's enough to counteract the down forces of the front before. Well, it's a lot wider than the yeah. top fuselage, yeah. so. So I'll throw it up for another flight. I'll adjust the CG a tiny bit forward. Um, I don't know if you can see these lines here. This was the original CG line um, when I was flying before when I had all that super hard downforce of the nose and I moved it back roughly just a little bit less than half an inch so I'm thinking maybe just move it right about in the middle of that and it should be dialed I think cool all right guys we're gonna do the second flight with this f117 um, I've got the trim I don't know if you can see it Frank I got it where it's barely got a, any up reflex mm -hmm. in it yeah we can see that so it's pretty low now um, and I'm scooted the CG back forward just a tiny bit maybe a less than a quarter inch so we're gonna do it, uh, throw it up in the air, see what how it flies. All righty, man, here we go. Ready? Yep. <laughs> that was a lot better, man, on the takeoff. Does that feel better now, Paul, with the CG a little bit farther forward? Let me see. Now it's, let's see, it's the going nose, nose down just a little bit. Is that on the glider under power? Get it up it? higher. There's glide. So it's that's coming it, that's down. That's about right, man. Yeah. Or are you having to give it stick up to I keep it from nosing the way down? Start diving real hard. So maybe move the CG back just to where I had it in that first flight, and Either I think it's probably good. Do that, or you can just put a couple, a couple more clicks up in it. See what happens. That's definitely a hundred times better than it was flying yeah, before, though. Not... I don't have to, you know, before I was constantly having to give it up elevator. So I think that's pretty close. Looks like it's flying real stable now, yeah. too. Okay, I'm gonna do a barrel roll. Let's see whatever. Good. Yep. So it's crazy how much that bottom surface made a change. And I actually like because it does make it look a little more scale. The bottom surface, you know, is a little more closer and looks to the real plane. Yeah, I definitely think it makes it look cooler, man. Yeah. So I'll do a final redesign, you know, and get everything fit and right. <laughs> Again, this is just a chopped up hack as you go, you know, test plane. Um, I think once we do the final design, you know, we'll be able to lose some weight, get it closer to the one-to-one -one power to weight ratio or even better. Um, I do have a new 64 millimeter um, EDF coming that's more powerful. Um, though I may size up the plane just a little bit, um, 
to give a little bit more room to put that EDF a little farther back in the plane. So yeah, that's pretty much flying nice and level now. Woo! <laughs> Close the hanger. So right now it's pretty heavy. Um, the all-up weight I believe was what right about 34 ounces. So that's pretty heavy um, for a foam board plane. But I think we hopefully we can get it closer to 30 ounces once we um, redesign it. So I got a lot of extra tape, extra hot glue, and a bunch of junk in there. Yeah, and you said <laughs> you didn't really remove that whole other bottom either. No. Um, when I do the redesign, the that original bottom is going to have most of it cut out um, and the EDF is going to mount a little lower in the plane so we'll probably have to do some test flights on that you know because that'll probably change the dynamics a little bit more um, but I, I think it'll be pretty close to this yeah that's flying way better okay I'm gonna bring it in Frank all right come in towards us again I'm coming fast. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, guys, that's the redesigned FF117 V2 EDF. Um, so look uh, forward to more of this coming. I'm going to do the final redesign of it and do more test flights with that. Cool. Mm -hmm.